So today we're going to try to get you logged into the yearbook site. Um, it's where we build the yearbook. And uh, when you're in, you will hopefully be able to see a page that you have been assigned. So as you start today, uh, you're going to go to the website that I've emailed to you. Uh, type in your username. I'm typing in a sample one and the password I've given you, everybody has the same password to start. It should be yearbook 2024. Oops. Of course, login is unsuccessful. Um, as you log in, it's going to give you a choose new password. Um, I really highly suggest that you choose something that you're going to remember. It will not populate a list for me, so I will not see your password. Um, note that it has to fit these things, 11 to 50 characters, one capital letter, uh, one number or special character, and cannot reuse the old password. For ease, I'm going to use 2024 yearbook, which is the opposite of what we already had. Um, it does work for all of these. Use something that you're comfortable with. Um, I can reset this for you, but since I'm not going to be at school for a while still, it will take a little time if I need to reset your password. So when you set your password, write it down so you don't forget it. Click next. Um, you're gonna put in here some things to help you remember your password. I'm gonna pause this while I take care of that real quick. Once you have uh, done your challenge question, it's gonna ask you to log in again using your new password. Again, mine has got my old, my actual login saved. So this is taking me a little time. Right, one more time. I'm going to go in with my normal login just because it's easier at this point. When you all log in, you're going to see a specific page. Um, this is what I see as the yearbook advisor. These are all of the yearbook pages we are going to be working on over the next couple months. Um, right now, I've got different things assigned to all of you. Um, I'm going to go into this theme theme page. It doesn't matter what it says, all of you are going to have the same thing. Um, I just wanna show you a couple of things while I'm here, just to give you a heads up. When you log into this, oops, I'm sorry, let me make that larger. You're gonna click on this edit spread button. And this is a two page spread. This will be the left page and this will be the right page. Um, on the right side of the menu here are some important things. Templates are layouts, and there's all sorts here. My favorite one is probably Student Life. It's where we get a lot of our layouts. If you click on that, you're going to see different layouts that can be used in the yearbook. I'm actually going to start you all with the exact same one, but I want you to see that there's a huge variety in here. And um, when we start making the yearbook, you're not all going to have the same thing. We are today for practice for the next few days. Um, when you decide on something you're going to work on, you just literally drag it over like this. And then this is going to be a lot to fill in. Every single one of these gray boxes is for a photo and every single place where you see words is a place that you would be expected to type. 
So if you don't want to, if you don't have that much of a story to tell, um, for instance, we've got lots of Spirit Week photos that we're going to be playing with. There's not a lot to say about Spirit Week other than what the days were. Um, you're not going to have quotes from the coach or uh, the director of the play or whatever. So I'm going to select all and delete because this is just a lot to try to fill in. See, this one's kind of nice. This is a full page of photos here with just one little box to fill in and three photos here with a headline, a little bit of a story. Um, so this is what we're gonna use for everybody. Everyone's gonna have the same thing to fill out. Um, you're going to be digging down here in the photo tray and I don't have them loaded yet, but when you guys start opening this up, when you click on photo tray, you're gonna see photos down here. All of you are gonna be using the same photos. And I want you to see how the same story can be told on the same page in lots of different ways. So um, get ready to play with this and see what you can do. I'm gonna close the photo tray for now. Um, and let's close this. And let's just play with a couple other things. If I want to change these words, I can't be on this button over here where it says select. I have to be on the text button. So I would click this and then go in here and I can delete all of this. And let's get rid of all of it deleted. I can now type my own story. It is important that there are some words to tell what is happening on my page. Okay, that's not very much. Um, I could change the font. I don't wanna go too big. It's at 10 point, I should go to maybe 12. That'll make it a little bit bigger. Um, I can change it from Helvetica to Times. We don't have a lot of different fonts here. There's a reason for that. We don't want to have um, 75 different fonts on 72 pages of the yearbook. We want consistency. Um, let's see what else might you guys want. When you work on a photo from the photo tray, you're going to want to have the select key back on, not the text. Um, again, I would go to here. Right now there's no photos in here, but if there was, I would just literally click on one and drag it to the box that I want it to go in. So I think that's probably enough to get you guys started. Um, as you, this does not self save like Google things do. So to save and um, leave your page, you're gonna wanna go up here to file and hit save and close. And that'll save the page that you're working on. Okay, so that should be enough for today. You're gonna try to get logged in, you're gonna change your password, and you're gonna start playing in your page a little bit. And don't forget at the end to save and close. All right, um, if there's any real problems, uh, let Mr. Kamani know or email me yourself. And uh, yeah, let's start building our yearbook. I wish I was there with you. This is a really exciting time. Um, and again, all of you are going to be building the same page. It doesn't matter what your title on your page is. We're all playing right now. You're all going to have the same template, the same photos. You're going to tell the same story, but I want us to see how the same story can look different ways depending on who's telling it. So be creative, have fun, see what you can play with on those sides of the um, template and uh, see how you can tell your story differently than everybody else. All right. Thank you.